Hi, my name's Professor Silver, and in today's class, we'll break down the history of Brock's Blissey. To do so, we'll explore her time as a Hapini, bond with Brock, and triumphant return in Pokemon Journeys. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Brock received Blissey's egg from Mr. Sukizo in the episode All Dressed Up with Somewhere to Go. Krogunk won it as a prize for dressing up as a Politoed in the Pokemon Dress Up contest. The egg incubated for five episodes before hatching into Hapini in one big Hapini family. Hapini instantly imprinted onto Brock as the trainer loved her from the moment he laid eyes upon her. Brock made for a great dad as he had learned how to be a father while caring for his siblings and Bonsly. Because of his tender touch and loving energy, Hapini became something of a daddy's girl. She refused to let him leave her side, even when she cried for a stone so she could imitate Chansey. Don and Ash found some stones in Brock's stead, but he didn't rest until he selected and sanded the best. Before he could give it to Hapini, however, Team Rocket arrived and stole her for themselves. The dastardly trio wanted Hapini to join them, but her love for Brock forced her to reject their advances. After downing their balloon, she bulldozed through their ranks and tossed the viper like a baby Hercules. As soon as the crisis was averted, she returned to Brock's care and was given her oval stone. Although the gift filled her with affection, she adorably tried to return it as a sign of affection. Since he didn't dare accept the offering, Hippini expressed her thanks with some playful super strength. I said, up we go! I didn't know that! She then joined Brock's team as he promised he would fill her life with fun, love, and adventure. Throughout the Sinnoh saga, Hippini would often be seen bonding with Brock as his little helper. Like her trainer, she found immense joy in supporting others. As a result, Hippini provided help whenever possible. She massaged Ash's belly in throwing a track switch, made ice packs for Pachirisu and Doc Brock, tended to Ash's team in uncrushing defeat, and minded Johanna's garden in strategy begins at home. Beyond acting as Brock's helper, Hapini also bonded with him by taking part in the Pokemon Hustle. They lost during the contest's first round in beating the Bustle and Hustle, but won out in sportsmanship. Hapini was such an all-around good girl that Brock chose her to assist him in Tanks for the Memories. As a testament to their incredible friendship, he used her to help teach a milkmaid how to best treat and care for her milk tank. Throughout Brock's lesson, he showed how positive feedback, constant encouragement, relaxing baths, and ample trust resulted in him and Hapini having one of the most wholesome relationships in all the anime. Thanks to his instruction and cheerful influence, Hapini learned secret power by episode's end. Using the awesome power, she protected Miltank from Beedrill and thwarted Team Rocket's scheme. In addition to Brock, Hapini also forged powerful friendships with many of the gang's other Pokémon. Due to her vibrant and enthusiastic personality, they welcomed her with open arms in Steamboat Willies. Whilst bonding with her friends throughout the episode, Hapini traveled aboard a cruise ship, played rings, dressed up in frilly clothing, danced up a storm, escaped Team Rocket, and flew atop Staravia. Hapini made even more friends in an amazing race. She befriended Pikachu through a piggyback ride, and Baneri through a tea party. Of all her Pokemon friends, none were more reliable than her big brother, Pseudo Wudo. As loving siblings, they built sandcastles in Slate of Sand and relaxed and hungry for the good life. Just like his father, Pseudo Wudo cared for Hippini with all his being. In Frozen on their tracks, for instance, he taught himself Hammer Arm in order to free Hippini from the trio's clutches. Though Hippini was often protected by her big bro, she was more than capable of defending herself. While her species is tied with Chansey for having the lowest base attack of all Pokemon in the video games, she possessed superhuman strength that allowed her to lift most any object. Some examples of her strength in action include lifting boulders and crossing paths, pounding hot air balloons and the bells are singing, hoisting a Quagsire in the Rise of Darkrai, and catching a case of Pokeballs in Lean Mean Team Rocket Machine. She also carried Grottle and Jumping Rocket Ship, stopped Piloswine's rampage in a Breed Stampede, lifted up a lake in regaining the home advantage, and rescued Marley in keeping in top form. Even though Hippini was as powerful as a locomotive, her strength sometimes proved insufficient. Besides the time a Metagross overpowered her in regaining the home advantage, she also couldn't lift a rock in the Psyduck stops here, or move a manhole cover in leading astray. Most hilarious of all, she wasn't able to break through a hamster ball in fighting ire with fire. Before we tackle Hapini's battles, I wanted to give a shout out to our sponsor Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that makes it simple to build, manage, and market websites. Since it's a one-stop shop, you can also use the platform to collect emails and purchase domains. The platform offers many award-winning templates, so you can design a website in almost no time at all. Squarespace is perfect for setting up e-commerce, displaying your portfolio, and showcasing your resume. I can't recommend enough that you start your free trial for the platform as soon as possible. 
When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com dash alexsilver and use the code alexsilver to get 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. And now back to Hippini. Hippini rarely flexed her muscles in battle, but whenever she did, she always provided a walloping. The trio disrupted her battle with a shelter and battling acute drama, but she proved her strength against two ditto in dealing with a fierce double ditto drama and an evil Togepi in where no Togepi has gone before. Opposite Togepi, Hippini developed a rivalry, swapped slaps, pounded flamethrower, and oozed cuteness. Hippini ended her Sinnoh journey with hardly any wins, but she made up for it with emotional growth. Thanks to Brock's influence, she found her calling as a nurse in the episode The Brockster Is In. After a tentacruel poisoned her fellow babies, Hippini did all she could to ensure their speedy recovery. With Brock as doctor and her as nurse, she searched for poison-relieving Pecha Berries and punished Team Rocket for eating them. She also doted upon her patients, distributed ice packs, and stood guard as Brock worked. When Apichu and her charge nearly perished, Hippini's desire to help led her to evolve into Chansey. As a result of the evolution, Chansey learned soft-boiled. Thanks to the move, she was able to totally relieve Pichu's poison. Chansey and Brock's treatment of their patients impressed Nurse Joy, so she encouraged the latter to pursue a career as a Pokémon doctor. It was a suggestion that he readily accepted. As a single father desperate for love, he relished the opportunity to be surrounded by Joys while working. Soon after Chansey and Brock bid farewell to Ash and returned home to Pewter City, Brock began his studies. While Brock worked to become a doctor, Chansey fulfilled her dream of becoming his nurse. Due to their strong friendship, she evolved into Blissey sometime before the Arceus special. In the special itself, Blissey battled Mars Perugly after Brock came into conflict with Team Galactic. Showing off a bevy of new moves, Blissey fired off Dazzling Gleam and landed Mega Punch. Cynthia's Garchomp disrupted the battle before it concluded, but I'm sure Blissey would have won had it continued. Blissey's reappearance was brief, but it was also notable in that it reaffirmed her powerhouse status. It was also significant, as it confirms that Brock is continuing to train his Pokémon in the ways of combat despite his studies. Since that sums up Blissey's history to date, let's get to her battle record. Blissey won against Jessie's Seviper and Nerissa's Ditto. Move-wise, Blissey used Pound, Secret Power, Soft-Boiled, Dazzling Gleam, and Mega Punch. Brock's fatherly relationship with Hippini was the perfect send-off for his life as a breeder. Her evolution symbolized his transformation into a doctor. While I wish we got to see more of Blissey as a Chansey, I'm extremely satisfied with her narrative arc. She showed that Brock's background in breeding would be crucial to his success in the medical field. Seeing her come back in Pokémon Journeys was an awesome surprise. It showed that she was still one of the most powerful Pokémon in Brock's arsenal, possibly rivaling his Mega Steelix. On that note, class is adjourned. Big thanks to Squarespace and the channel's patrons for their support. To watch class early, sign up for Patreon via the link in the description. For other ways to support the channel, like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're never late to class. Until next time, catch you later.